Capital Horizon kick right now. So, <laughs> ah, we are going to pick up where we left off. Um, we are actually currently working on an errand that we're doing before the proving, or before moving Ross for the proving. And uh, I accidentally might have played a little too much of said errand before starting the stream, um, namely just saving Arana. But nonetheless, we're actually going to, as soon as I... Ah, there we go. As soon as I, uh... Trail is here. Must be where she saw the scrapper. If I follow its tracks, I should be able to find that spear. There it is. Lovely thing about the focus, it turns Aloy into a grade A, uh, tracker. Hello to whoever's in the, uh, chat. Mother's cradle. Unless that's the Hubbles. No, nope, not me. I highly suggest you kill any wildlife you come across. Because they are not only uh, good for um, crafting items, but they are part of the next errand we'll be running. The trail ends uh, here. Granola. I'll bet it crossed the river. Better check the other side. So yeah, I am like tote deep into the storyline. I am absolutely addicted. And I mean god, I think I've seen the marathons all together last week. At least a solid fifty-six hours. Out of the three days I was off. Uh, well, three days plus I was up all day Friday, so. Yeah. <laughs> the lady never gets any sleep when she starts playing a game like this. Do a quick save. Now, the only downside about this is that... Uh, you really don't have much of anywhere to hide. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get it. Nope. Well, actually I did, holy shit. I shall be down. Alrighty. Yeah, as I mentioned, there aren't a lot of places to uh, do some sneaky sneaky. But. There's just enough. There. Time to get that spear. Get into the tall grass here. As you can see, there's uh, plenty of um, machines to go around. So we're going to tag them all real quick. 
Pretty sure I got everything. Didn't mean to get the turkey there, but okay. Now, our best bet is to find some higher ground. Hey, would you look at that? I'll be honest, I actually never noticed this the first time I played this area through. Oh, I'm gonna snipe some shit that let me air up in my silver. I'm hunting. Oh, you won't need it coming. Get this air going to the sea. No, wire is too short. We beat it. A well made weapon. Arana will be happy to have it back. Alright. So, gotta head back towards the main gate. That's where Arana and her father are waiting. First, I'm gonna grab everything. about this game is that you can fast travel between campfires. Now, as you can see, I don't have the necessary component. Uh, to fast travel in this game, you need what's known as a travel pack. Uh, you can actually go in and craft those. And that's where the uh, meat and everything comes in handy. So I'm just going to make the one for the moment. 
because I've got to uh, do another um, quest where the meat comes in handy. So, bada boom. <coughs> The only time you'll catch me fast traveling is when I have to get between cities. And that's only because this map is a shit ton bigger than Skyrim's. And it takes too damn long to do it otherwise. Oh, mother be praised. Aloy's back with the spear. And there we go. First you send Arana back to me, and now you've got the spear. When I first called out to you for help, I didn't even know if you'd speak to me. I'm glad you did. Me too. I can't believe you got the spear back. Your mother knew how to craft them. It's of exceptional make. I'll never be the crafter she was, but she did pass along a few tricks. I'd be happy to take a look at your spear. Thank you. It sounds like... She was special. I'm sorry for your loss. Well, because of you, I still have the spear to remember her by. You didn't have to help us, but you did. She would have admired that. Thank you, Aloy, for everything. Aww. Alrighty, time to do some more hunting. So, I'm going to head up top over here. I think I should be able to get up this way, yeah. Oop, that is not what I wanted to do. Alright, so we are going to do some errands around the Embrace before we go to see Ross. I need more shards and blaze. So. Things are quiet. Taking out the watchers is only step one. There we go. My next goal is actually to get up top and do some sniping from there for the blades that I need from these uh, striders. So, gather everything I need real quick. Breeze run. It's like the one route I have the most trouble getting my hands on. It's my other playthrough. Alright, so jump up. <laughs> Woo, that was close. Oh, you some bitch. It will get back up there. Okay. That was close. Get over here. No, 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 Aloy. There.
literally can't hit him from there. Oh, there's no other one. to who is ever in the chat. Right out here. There are the other three striders. I'll come back around for that one momentarily. But I do need to try to get in closer. That's one that was more than that. You do realize they can't hear you with these headphones on, right? You're not going to like this.
need to how controls work, gauging the time, and uh, definitely, definitely. As Ross said before, striders are some of the weaker machines, but they can still pack a punch. That's all the striders are over here. So let me gather up all the blades. Mm. All right, I think it does it for that one. So we're gonna wait to do point of the spear at the moment. So we're gonna take care of our errands first. Miss Odd Grotta. I'll find a use for you. Excuse me, I'm so sorry about that. Hey, Kyori, you Crimson, how you doing tonight, bud? Too, what do you expect? I do have some good news, however, though. Jenna finally got her cast off today. <coughs> Alright, Odd Grotta should be pretty close by, if I'm not mistaken. She's just up on that hilltop. Uh, she is another exile, kind of like oh how Aloy and Ross are. You did not speak it back. You kept it close to your father. Hello, Grotta. Oh, mother. Since I was cast out, have I not been constant as the river flows? Have I not kept the vows as the stones do? Show me your grace, oh, mother. And provide for me once more. Good news, Grata. Once again, All Mother has brought you rabbits. All Mother, your voice cracks like the distant thunder. 
I hear the songs of grief, all mother. I would join the call, but I left my prayer beads atop the eastern overlook. I am afraid. Wait at your camp for me, Grata. I'll see what I can do. Now, Grata. You might think it's harsh to what she's doing, but there are laws in place in the Nora tribe where even outcasts can't speak to each other. So, pretty much, Grata's trying to abide by the law. Even though I know for Quick a fact. Way down. Oh, wee! You would never catch me doing this in person. thing if you leave an area they come back I don't have any desire to deal with them at the moment because I don't want to waste my uh, precious resources trying to get them I'm trying to shoot them down but blah, blah, blah. the brave trail of the rocks is close by the watchers. Going for the brave trail. Grata may be devout, but it takes strong arms to reach the overlook the fast way. Those watchers going nuts about I can hear them down there. Unless that's something else in here. <laughs> now, if I really wanted to, I could have gotten my beads. Aha! Uh -huh. Grata's go. prayer beads. I see why she comes up here to pray. It looks out to Mother's Gate. I thought. You know, I wonder what bothers me more. That she ignores me, or that with all her talking to all Mother, she's never lonely. All right. So, let's get back to Grata. We're gonna rappel down. I want to know where the hide their hide held their hiding so much damn rope. Did 
you go, Stinky? Did you go, Stinky? Stand up. Hold on one second, guys. Boy, I swear to God. <laughs> definitely your father's son. Definitely his father's son. I wonder if it's a big storm this time. I did. I did. Uh, I don't know if he's paying attention to be honest, who are you? Grata, all alone with all mother. Yeah. Hear your prayer beads, Grata. Now you have what you need. All mother. Each morning I find your tears of joy speckling the leaves. Joy at the beauty of all you have made. See how I cry now with you in gratitude. So you'll cry for her, but you won't speak to me. Fine. Guess that makes you the better outcast. Grata, I may not be around much for a while. I'm gonna run in the proving, and I'm not sure what's gonna happen after that. Oh, Mother, I thank you for the kindnesses you share. When the proving comes, in your great wisdom, may you give favor to a brave of generous heart. I think I get what you're saying. Goodbye, Grata. And that's what I mean by grata. It's a uh, ass backwards way of saying thank you. Oh, mother, hear me as I count off my years of devotion to these beads. Okay, so. I'm trying to remember if there's another spot. I'd say it's pretty much right here around Grotta. There's another spot where I can get a quest at. Zachary Daniel, sit down. No, you need to sit down. If I'm not mistaken, it's right here. I'm almost positive of it, to be honest. So, look out below. <laughs> Ooh, shit. Didn't realize scrappers were nearby. The only reason I knew it was a scrapper was because only three types of machines have the ability of a uh, sensory location. I'm ready. Gotta be. Oh, my God. oh shit! The front door.
two ran pretty far off. Whoops. Heal! Heal! Rob! It's your sister! Olaha! Ah, there's the other one that I was talking about. There's still another one. From, can you hear me? I'm not entirely certain what the square footage would be, but I'm pretty certain you saw the blue bubble that burst out. From, please. Um, it's Alara. That what their range is for the most part. And there's another machine over here that's kind of eyeing me. You <sighs> alert? I'm here, Mom. Are you out there? There. The next time I come across a scrapper site, I'll, uh, Pop into sneak mode, make sure I'm out of range, and I will uh, give a uh, good good example as to what their range actually is. Please, Brom, come find me. What the shit? What can I loot it? Need them soon enough. Okay, so... Brom! It's your sister, Olara! Alright, that's where we want to get to. So, oh. are you out there? <laughs> Dad, it. I was hoping to use that as a uh. Find a way up here. And I think it's fine. calling out for do you need help i have nothing against outcasts far from it but i shouldn't talk to you i don't want to get in trouble i don't see anyone else around to help i guess you're right i'm sorry i, I didn't mean to be callous my brother was cast out but his sentence has ended he he should have come home but he didn't and and his camp was covered in blood you um you said your brother's camp was soaked with blood the Braves went looking for him, and, and that's what they found. All I can think about is what might have happened. Is he really dead? Or maybe just wounded? Is he suffering? Or does he need help? I can't stand it not knowing. What are you doing out here all alone? 
Each day I cut a notch on the wall so I knew Brahm's sentence was over. Then I cut three more. But he still hadn't come back. I begged the matriarchs to send braves to find him, and all they found was the braves said he must be dead. But I have to know the truth. So I came out looking for him. Why was your brother cast out? Rom was always a little different. A little touched. One of the hunters had a cruel heart and never let him alone. I was gone but an hour, and the hunter said after him like always, but this time, Brahm struck back with a rock and split the man's skull. Spirits oh, made just watch. Him do Bear it, mind, Kiri, I've already Whispers played through all this forgotten. before. It cost him ten years. Sit. I never should have left him alone. Zack. What do you mean forgotten? Set up. All mother curses blasphemers who won't repent, banishing them from her eternal memory. Those lost spirits are the forgotten. Brom used to say they spoke to him, told him to do things. It was such a burden for him, and, and there was nothing I could do to help. All right, looks like we're going to go look for Brom. I'll do what I can to find your brother. You will? Then let me come with you. I won't be a bother. I know how to stay out of sight. I'm faster on my own. If that is how it must be, just find him then. Please. I'm tickling. Sit. Sit. Tickle, tickle, tickle. 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 Alright, so, yeah, that explains why I couldn't actually get that, it's because, boom. So, let's... Head over to Brahms camp. Have the supplies while we're at it. Oh, 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 I should be out of range from here. Lip syncing. Okay. I'm kind of hoping that one of them's going to pause and do their burst because this way you can see for yourself just what their range is. Leave them stickers alone, mister. I go a little further over this way. I don't feel like I'm quite out of range, to be honest. Every now and again, they'll do a burst. You know what? I'm not waiting for it. Keep that for later.
So, almost there. Zach, pull your jets. Sorry to spoil your fun. See, it is a bloody mess. A bloody mess. So, let's trigger. Our focus here. Looks like a few drops of blood lead away from the camp. Follow the track. Whose knife is this? Did someone attack Brom with it? Looks like more blood leading away from here. So the embrace is pretty much nothing but one huge gigantic tutorial there, area. Did someone bring the blood to the camp? The trail of blood ends here. But whoever left it must have also left tracks. So, like I said before, this focus turns Aloy into one hell of an exceptional tracker. I can honestly say the immersion factor of this game is like off the charts. Especially when you've got a pair of over the ear headphones or earbuds on. OMG. You don't really even hear the music much anymore. You're constantly listening to the slight sounds of nature. Snow. It's not getting any warmer out here. All I know is that for a fact, I could easily lose, and I, and I actually have lost 12 hours 
because I couldn't. I, I I don't even know how to describe it. I was so deep in the game, you know. I think I talked about this last time. I had uh, been playing pretty much from 4 p.m. that afternoon after getting home with Janet and after making dinner. Well, long story short, John leaves me alone, you know. I wonder if the blood from the camp came oh, from there the it floor. Is. If Brom did this, why does he want people to think he's dead? And why desecrate the shrine? Anywho, but, um, pretty much, I went from 4 p.m. Finally, when I started realizing that I needed to get up and stop, I, uh, yeah, it's, it, it was like 2 o'clock in the morning, and I said, okay, you know what, five more minutes, five more minutes. You know, I've got to at least try to get this last little bit here done. Well, I finally looked back over to the clock. It's three thirty. Okay, five more minutes. I've just got to finish what I'm working on. Sorry about that. I tend to go quiet when uh, things start getting hairy like that. So, should have brought a cart. Let's see. No, 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 bad shaman. Whew. I have lost more upgrades that way than I care to mention. Upgraded what I could there for a minute. Looks like it was a watcher. If it's Brom, he definitely knows how to handle a spear. an outcast for a long time. Why take food and gear now? <laughs> Shut the front door. Did not mean to do that. There we 
go. It's the supplies from the cache. Why would they take them and just throw them away? before I hurt her. I will. I'll, I'll kill myself. I'll kill myself before I hurt her. You, you're not a spirit. What do you want? I want you to step away from the edge, Mom. No. Leave me alone. Can't you see I need time to think? I... How, how, how am I supposed to think when everybody is shouting at me? So many voices to listen to. It must make your head hurt. I promise my voice <sighs> will be soft and soothing. A soft voice, like Alara's. It's been so long. Years. Yes. Yes, I... I will listen. That's better. Now tell me, what's troubling you? Spirits of the Forgotten. Souls cursed by the All-Mother. Their voices never let me be. They want me to do things. Hurt people. If I go back to the Nora, they might make me hurt Alara. And I... I'll kill myself before I let that happen. Do you have to listen to the spirits, Brom? They're speaking to me right now. Always with me. They take care of me. Keep me company. Help me. Except when they scream. Like when that hunter knocked me down. Crush your skull with the rock, they said. And I did. Brom. You're alive. Oh, Mother be praised. I'm sorry I followed you, but I had to make sure he was all right. No, 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 no. Please, sister, I, I, I can't protect you. I need no protection from you, Brom. He fears these spirits that he hears will turn him against you. Unless your voice can quiet them? Yes, just as it was before. He only ever hurt someone once, and it was provoked. I, I don't want to hurt you, but the Forgotten, they're... Their whispers, they, they fill my head with screams. Brahm isn't ready to return to the Nora, but I don't think he'll hurt you, Alara. There's a place where I can stay, a cave on All Mother Mountain. I suppose you could visit me there, so long as I'm strong. You will be, Brahm. I'll help you. Thank you, Aloy. I'll take care of him now. May you walk in all mother's eternal Jack. memory. And may the forgotten leave you be. Turd. Zach. Yeah, if only it was that simple for uh, these guys. Here, you remember they reverted back to like seriously primitive stuff. I doubt they even know what uh, mental health is anymore. Hey, Mom? See. Okay. So I think that actually takes care of all the errands that we need to do. Um, chipcaster. I mean, it's easy. To use and I don't actually like the errands a lot. So let's go do point to the spear. Let's go talk to Rost. Yeah. Let me just double check what I've got. I think twenty I think twenty fire arrows would be alright. Oh shit! 
I might want to, to start stocking up on uh, healing items. I'm at it. So yeah, um, my dyslexia kicks in pretty bad with this game, admittedly. Oh crap, was that close to the north gate? Actually, probably gonna want to go see cars soon because I've got some stuff that I could sell for shards. Low and quiet does it. Weapons and blades might have dropped. Huh. Thought I found this. Right up Main Street. Yep, be well, be well, be quiet. I'm hunting wobbits. Ah. Yes, yeah, Zachy. Just 
it. Okay, I think I am as well stocked as I'm gonna get. Zach, hush. All right, I think I'm actually gonna go see cars. was over here this way. I don't remember exactly which town he was right by. Zach, hush. Alright. So, let's go see cars. We've got a few things we can sell. What is it now? Alright, so we're going to sell. Is there any reason why you're qu quoting Jika? Do they cure you? I promise you, do not worry about selling all your uh, coils and weaves off. You will get them back faster than you think possible. Zach, hush. Ah. Hmm. I think I'll wait. So, anything else? No, nope, I'm good. I guess that concludes our business. All right. And good luck in the proving. Blessing of all mother and all that. He's just so delightfully snarky. That's not too far off. Zach, leave it alone. This is like the one thing I absolutely love about this game over Skyrim. Being able to jump while sprinting. Whatever they're hunting out there, it doesn't sound easy. Can't really get a good shot of what 
they're gonna be going after. Yeah, it was worth a try. German fucking ninja, what the shit? There he is. Right where he said he'd Aloy, you're here. You have the firearms. I do. Those explosions and shouts beyond the embrace. Is that the trouble you were talking about? You will know soon enough. Until then, we wait for dark. Wait for dark? Right, what is this lesson? I don't understand. Those explosions are outside the embrace. What can we do from in here? The lesson will be taught in due time, Aloy. Till then, we wait. I got Odd Grata her rabbits, for which she thanked All Mother, of course. It was All Mother working through you to bring her the rabbits. You always say that, but I was there and I hunted alone. And you always say that, and so make yourself alone. Look, Rost. I've thought it through, and I'm not going to shun you after the proving, okay? I'm just... I won't do it. I'm not about to pretend that you never raised me. Aloy, the law forbids all contact. It does, and I don't care. I know what duty means for you, Rost, but all tribal law has ever done for me is take things away. And that's not gonna happen again. Aloy, I must obey the law. And so you will. I knew you'd say that, so this is what we'll do. I'll come to you in secret. No one will see me, so I won't get in trouble. A and I know you won't talk to me because it's against the law, but I'll talk to you. It'll be my crime, not yours. You'll just listen. And that's how we'll handle this. You've put a lot of thought into this. I know. So you can stop worrying. It's handled. Yes. So it is. I saw Karst and got that tripcaster I was talking about. I hate to think what that outlaw trader charged for a weapon of that make. It wasn't cheap, but the caster is worth it. Perhaps. You'll know it's worth soon enough. Still a while to go before dark. I guess I'll get some rest. Good idea. There'll be no time for sleep tonight. Alright, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and rest here because I've gotten all my uh all my errands done for the moment. So I wanna make my daddy cosplay Rost. Opening a gate for an outcast? Some who are shunned reaped honor before disgrace. <sighs> so much for tribal law. I spoke to no one, and now we must both keep silent, for we are outside of the embrace. These are the true wilds, Aloy. With threats unlike any you have ever faced. That carcass? What sort of beast was that? The tribe calls it a sawtooth, and it's something new, something angry. Since they first started appearing ten years ago, they have killed many braves. Yeah. Follow the path. It's not far. That cabin. What happened to it? A machine, that's what. What sort of machine does that? The sort of machine you're hunting now. Oh. I see. I'll watch your carcass. I'll harvest the parts. Watch your surroundings.
do what I have to. It won't be much farther now. Why are we the only ones out here tonight? Why can't the tribe's braves hunt this machine? They did. The kills we've passed are theirs. Tomorrow, they will hunt again. <laughs> they won't need to. This machine will be my kill. Or your death, if you're not careful. There's no denying Aloy can get a little arrogant. Okay, so I guess you could say this is uh, your kind of first bat boss battle here. So, Zachary, I'm in the middle of something right now. Can you please hold on? Now I just need to be patient. Its body is weak to fire. So, let's get this over with. It's gone. Yeah. Why did I bring you here? Not to answer questions. Aloy. Survival requires perfection. It was a test to hone my skills against a dangerous new machine. No. 
follow. These are Nora hunting lands. They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the Sawtooth, how many braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? The lesson lives within the question, Aloy. For years, you've trained to win the Proving, but only for yourself. As a brave, it will be your duty to fight for your tribe. My tribe? You said I wouldn't need them. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. I know. I don't remember exactly who that he is, is but I had the learn. exact same remember reaction. It. Zachary, stop that. After the proving, and after I'm gone. We're finished here. Follow. Dawn has passed. This will be your last day in the embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. I understand the final lesson, Rost. Do you? But if I'm going to stand for something, it'll have to be something I believe in. Then I hope you find it, Aloy. I hope you do. I'll go back to the cabin with you. I'm not heading there just yet. I have other plans. Oh. Such as? I'll be waiting for you when it is time. I'll see you at Mother's Heart then. You will. Okay, so we Save have the finished part of the main quest now, and uh, we are actually just going to go ahead and head for the proving, if I'm not mistaken. I don't have anything. Nope. All done. Alright. So, do, 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 do. I guess we start running. I'm just gonna blitz right on past the machines this time. I know where I am. Be all right here. I thought they'd go on forever. Okay, so as promised, we are going to be running the proving in this. So Now, to make things easier on all of us, I'm probably going to take care of uh, gathering and all that jazz on my own before I start streaming when I do this game. If only for the simple fact that anyway, it can get boring as hell. You must speak. So, it's time. Are you ready? Yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. 
I like cereal. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. Sit. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? What should I expect once I'm inside? There'll be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village can Hello, to Click home. Rick! It is the seat of the High Matriarchs, the center of Nora life, a jewel of the sacred land. Give it time, and you'll grow fond of it. As I was. Back when I was at the tribe. <sighs> Any final lessons before Zachary. I head? No. Cut that out. You've learned every lesson the wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the wilds. Not sure it my goes. bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. You sure they're gonna Are you let sure me they're in? gonna let me in? <laughs> I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But Stop not everyone it, follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. I'm right. ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Here. Take this, too. Remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. Get a bit. This... This is goodbye. See, I'm glad to have this then. It will remind me of you, of everything you did, and how you helped prepare me for this day. By by their tribal law, the Nora law, uh, outcasts cannot speak to any who are actually of the tribe. Zachary, walk properly, please, son. Get off your tiptoes. I would have hugged him at least once. What? How could he do this? Today of all days. I have to keep my mind on the proofing. Okay. So. I kind of want to cry. That scene gets me every time. You will turn back, outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. In a sense, it's more like a prison sentence. Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? 
But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? I who. Let's go find this old friend, shall we? This brings me back. I'm actually gonna save really quick. There are interaction points, which is actually pretty cool. Huh. Thank God, Mother. It's good to rest. Aloy! It's you, isn't it? Over here. It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hoped to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. Ah. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. And there we go. Admittedly, I prefer this line, the, uh... Hunter Light, or the, uh, the Silent Hunter ones. There. Seems to fit you perfectly. Uh, thank you, Teb. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway. I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. <laughs> Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. Three children. What's an ordinary three children for anyway? Wasteful. And she's gone. Jog! Get down from there! Bad enough you're drunk! Why do you have to go climbing houses? Oh, not supposed to go climbing on other people's roofs, huh? Get down from there, now! Oh, that's just what you isn't want, isn't it? For me to fall on my head! What I want is for you to climb down! What you want is for me to have no fun at all! Not Fine! Stay on the roof all night oh. if you want. Yeah, I will. All were her children. Aloy, over here. Hey, there's Karst. Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last-minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, Mother's Heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. 
Well, a man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. I'll give you my bet. All right, so let me double check what I've got to sell. Zach, cut it out. Until next time. Next time? All sales are final. If it breaks, you're out of luck. I'm actually going to go ahead and get this. Good luck. Yeah. All right, so. going to need that. Kind of wish I had a ranged attacks one, but oh well. Zachary, hush. Let's just say this is my favorite bow type. Sharp shot bow. The same one Ross was carrying. Not people. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to work. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. <clears throat> Hello, Max Ford. An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by and the slavers. Hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers Earth. and slavers! Hey, hey, Luminance hold your fruit, nor if, oh. nor if faithful. Hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azaran, not Karja. So I'll put it just straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bum. Well, he was. I a adore and a monster. Raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Come here, Straight Jack. from the lips of the 14th king. Now so I'll please. Need to fix something on his shoulder. Can't you lend him your ears? Ta-da! Yay! Hey, get some lights and get your face cleaned off. Hey, thank you. <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude written by the hand of Sun King Avar. 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. As you can see... As we can see, there's something going on here. What's going on? Just like mine. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? 
What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> and my face is all clean. Hey. Good job. You got the same trick at the Olin. I love Olin. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now, he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. That was quite a speech. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I wasn't sure I could do it. Lenora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? It comes off her bed. It comes off when she goes to bed. So I just had to remind my husband that um, our daughter's brace comes off when she goes to lay down for bed. So I wanted to ask you something else. Hey, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. I never heard anything about Red Raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? <laughs> were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight, they build. But take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. Just how big is Meridian? What's it like? Where do I even start? My tribesmen are masters of the forge, the best I heard that in the through world. the headphones and but talking. when it comes to building, the Karja oh, have us beat. The city soars over a canyon with John more bridges Jana than the Nora Car have yeah. roads and buildings tall as mountains. Around. And across the valley stands the spire, like a blade thrust into the sky reflecting the sun. Freezing! You really owe it yourself to see it. So consider that a challenge. Or an invitation. You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah, I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh, I'm sorry. I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now I can promise you. Now, when a hunter Aaron fires a shot, the machines his, snarl and awesome. charge right at him. A few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the sawtooth. Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. So what's making it happen? Yeah, no one knows. 
And the machines, well, they aren't telling. Tell me about the derangement again. Well, the way I hear it, when a hunter so it was that not a few more if that was like the sawtooth. Yeah, so what's that? Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Captain of the entire vanguard. Favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Oh, well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh, direct. So, what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the sun sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad, there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People Older. from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. Asaram freebooters? Who are the Asaram? Well, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at three things. Arguing, working steel, and brewing. And freebooters. <laughs> what are those? I guess you could say we were mercenaries. You know, warriors for pay. Except a lot more loyal than that makes us sound. Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now, some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. What else do you know about Olin? Is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. All right, and last but not least... I've never seen right. armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring-locked, impact-protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. We might even give them Nora Warmaid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down, I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, it looks like a pretty even match. I should make my way to the blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but <laughs> it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart, you're obviously capable, and, well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? Learning. You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too, so, uh, see you around, maybe? Lurka. <coughs> what have I said about covering your mouth, Anna? I know better. I start the blessing when all aspirants are in place. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. <laughs> Blasphemy, sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light it's flame. In honor of Ra. 
lost. And all he did to help me get here. Oh, mother, hear our prayer. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. There's a... Uh, I have some questions for him. Fast, fast, fast. What about Vala? She's strong. Blood of a war chief. I heard you last... my name. Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half-buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've dealt yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Aaron needed a scout for his expedition, and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another Outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the King's court. That's all. When we spoke earlier, you winced then looked like you were in pain, or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you, it malfunctioned. Happens all the time. Mine's never malfunctioned, and I've had it since I was a child. So yours is in better shape then. I'm sure the land here is full of relics. Seeing how you Nora are too scared to delve the ruins. Because they think ruins are cursed. But I never said I think that. If the North acknowledges a curse, I'm inclined to agree. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... Try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. Love you, monkey. For the goddess to judge okay. the Karja, not me. The past should be left in the past. That blessing wasn't bad. Nice and short, anyway. But I know a half dozen Asaram tinkers who could put on a better fireworks show. <laughs> Oops. I hope I'm not throwing a wet blanket on your sacred ritual. It was nice. Really. Tell me about Olin again. When he's not scrounging, I've known him. Right. Yeah, well... That's it for Aaron. Let's talk to Tirsa. Aloy, now that the blessing has been made, you and I finally have a moment to speak. I hope the ceremony wasn't too unpleasant for you given your circumstances. I can't say it was comfortable, but I could see the beauty of the ritual, even so. 
It takes a generous heart, Aloy, to commend a ritual that venerates all that you were denied. All I'm saying is that it didn't bother me. I have bigger things to worry about than hearing the Nora mumble about their mothers. I see. I imagine you must have questions for me then. Ross told me that matriarchs don't just lead the tribe. What else do you do? We teach, offer counsel, give blessings. When necessary, we judge. Our only concern is the welfare of the tribe. Among our number this year, we count three high matriarchs and some 30 lesser matriarchs. What's the difference? Matriarchs are grandmothers with two generations of living progeny. But a high matriarch is a great-grandmother with three or more generations to her name. Thus do we speak for generations, lending our opinions weight. The high matriarchs most of all. So the more children you have, the more authority you get? I guess that's one way to decide who leads a tribe. Why would there be any other? Why does Lanzara hate me so much? She is a woman of extreme opinions. More than that, I cannot say. It's not my fault that I was born, or that the matriarchs decided to cast me out. I side with you in this matter, but there are differences of opinion, and any vote of the high matriarchs requires a majority. Why was I made an outcast at birth, Tirsa? What crime could I have committed even before I was born? Aloy... This is not a question I can answer. Why not? It's simple enough. And what about my mother? Is she here tonight, watching me? Or is she dead? Is she here? Or... nowhere? I am sure your mother is here with us. If only in spirit. <laughs> That's not really an answer, is it? Just so you know, Tirsa, the reason I'm here is to get answers. Real ones. And when I win the Proving, I will demand them. I know, Aloy. I would expect nothing less. What about Rost? Why was he made an outcast? So, he never told you? He said he swore an oath never to speak of it. Yes. As did I, and the other matriarchs. I'm sorry, Aloy. But Rost's past is another secret I must keep from you. What else is new? It surprises me the tribe lets outcasts run in the Proofing. It's not like the Nora to be so... hospitable. It has always been law that any child outcast has this right, as a means to rejoin the tribe. So far as I know, however, you are the first ever to exercise this right. I'm not surprised. I doubt many outcast children survive long enough in the wilds to come of age. I think, rather, it is because child outcasts are so rare. In all my years, I've only known of one other child who was cast out. A boy of 13, who killed his mother. But at the Proving five years later, he did not appear. No, I'd be surprised if he survived very long on his own. But at least he had a chance. Other tribes would have simply executed him. It may be hard for you to accept, Aloy. But the practice of shunning is, relatively speaking, humane. Oh, is it? Try it out for 18 years, Tirsa, and then let me know what you think. I should be going. I'm sorry if I've been too harsh. It's just, I've wanted answers for so long. I know, child. You're not the only one who's waited years for this day. I will be praying for your success. Okay. So with that, we are actually going... Let me see, can I talk to the priest? Your blessing was most illuminating. I've never seen its like. A rare gift indeed. But you don't believe in all mother, do you? Usually the, the distance between our tribes shrouds Nora ways from Karja eyes. But here among you, I see a beauty that shines true. Perhaps Naman is right after all, that the sun's light brightens all lands and all peoples. Who's Naman? One of my brethren, 
who believes the sky is wide enough for the faiths of all tribes. Why were the Karja at war with the Nora? Under the 13th Sun King, the Karja had okay. no well, peace with any tribe. I was not His luminance old talk has sent those days to dusk. We must renew the light that binds us, though few volunteered to come here. The Nora scare you. They're good at making people feel unwelcome. It's said one soldier died for every Nora taken alive. But <laughs> I see you can be as calm as you are fierce. Did you come all this way just to deliver your Sun King's speech? It is my duty, and also my honor, to carry the light of atonement to those we overshadowed and wronged. I swallowed my fear, but it reemerged. I am glad Erend Van Guardsman made this journey. He is my shield, a good man. Who are you, Sun Priest? I am the Reverend Ereed. The glory of the Karja is the sun's glory, reflected. We sun priests are but glimmers of its great light. You just said a lot, but you didn't tell me anything. <laughs> My apologies. My duty is to carry out the will of the sun by serving its emissary among us, the Sun King. I comfort those who walk by the light of day, and I travel to those in far reaches whom the light barely touches, bearing warmth. So you live in Meridian? I do. Where better to mark the sun's divine passage than where the sandstone glows in the light of its passing? I was raised in the Mesa's great shade, its wild bird markets and metal cellars, spices and colored silks. Sounds impressive. Oh, you should behold it. And you can if you make the journey. At his luminance's order, we have flung its gates open to all. Any Nora who leaves the sacred land becomes an exile. But hey, who knows where I'll end up. Who is the Sun King you speak for? His luminance Avad is the 14th king of the Radiant Line. His light envelops the sky and everything beneath it. He is the chosen of the sun. By his divine rule, we are given sight and purpose. You speak highly of him. Do you know him well? By his nature, he is unknowable and infallible. We are his instruments, not his companions. I have been in his presence, but we draw down our hoods so as not to behold his light directly. He's the sun, he has total power, and no friends. That couldn't go wrong. If your sun kings are so infallible, how do you explain the crimes of the last king? Uh, well, the sun's glory is a great and brazen crown for a vessel as small as a man. If the vessel is flawed, indeed in the burial caves, one can see the skulls of the past kings are cracked, trialed and fired in the sun's kiln. That can be too much for any man to bear, even a ruler of men. So the sun can make bad choices like anyone else? Oh, no, no, no. Has there ever been a sun queen? Uh, Many wives and consorts, of course. Or, oh, you mean for the sun to choose a queen. <laughs> this has not happened. Why not? The sun is masculine, of course, and, and so would choose its heirs thus. Um, it's a light in the sky. I've never seen anything dangling from it. I don't know if you've noticed, ha, but ha, ha, ha. things around here. Well... Avad took a woman as captain of his vanguard, the first to hold such an honor. You mean Aaron's sister, Ursa. From what he told me, she sounds formidable. Oh, formidable indeed. A woman, and an outsider as well. She might make a fine sun queen, given a chance. A sun queen? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No. This has been illuminating, but I should get going. You have already been blessed, but may the dawn find you, the day warm you, and the dusk have light to guide your path. Uh, misogynistic asshole.
always said the festival was better last year. Or the year before last. Nonsense. Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Uh. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the latrine. You're, you're very present here. <sighs> I want to shove my spear into his throat. Well, well. Look who's come in from the wild, the motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. Where's your bite, outcast? Or did you need my permission? Aw, oh, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, no, not Mother's not Heart. And you definitely don't belong in the Proving. The only way you know how to feel strong is to make someone else feel weak. It's not working. <laughs> I've trained all my life. You'll see tomorrow how strong I am. Oh, I've seen plenty. You grew a man's body. Kind of. But down deep, you're still a scrawny little brat. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. What I remember is how the other children saw that you were a monster. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. Ah, uh, best line. Right, nice job handling boss. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I, I... run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. So, your first day in Mother's Heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. It has... certain charms. Homey enough, once you're accepted. That's the problem. I think you'll find a place here. I do. Get some rest. I really like Bala a lot. Oh, just watch. You'll see, Rick.
Ready yourselves! What will it take to get you out of here? Razor! Razor! Are one bit of sabotage. <laughs> Your trophy is shattered, Outcast. Looks like you'll need another. Okay, so I'm gonna be a little bit quiet throughout this part because uh, high concentration time. Slow and steady now. All you need is to finish. That makes all but one. Is the outcast coming? She was behind me. Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. Boss will win, Urvala. But you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh no. And you're That's getting an ready to miss trail. the best part. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better dead last than dead altogether. Whoa, 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 whoa! My old mother, are you crazy? <laughs> You're gonna kill yourself! It doesn't get any easier! You're insane to go that way! That's it. No way, put it forward Just now! Stop right there! There! Just Gotta catch up! You don't wanna do this, girl! It's I can't work. see! Stop! The ball is right behind you! Come on now! Faster! Stop dragging! Gotta keep going. The outcast. On the old trail? Is she crazy? Good. I'm gaining. Oh, the outcast is catching up. How'd she get up there? This is gonna be close. Oh, Made fuck! Oh, come on now, hurry. Keep at it. Normally, you're supposed to repel down that way, by the way. Not just free fall the way I did. I've trained my whole life for this. They had a tribe, but I had the wild precision. Not enough. It must be perfect. Come on, come on, you can make it. Can't let them beat me now. <sighs> she didn't win. The outcast cheated. An outcast win the proving. Never. 
for she is a brave now. You did it. As are you all, so long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy, once outcast, and now brave, who is first among them. Ah! thing about the focus is that it'll tell you the difference Kill between the human and They're too strong. We can't stop them. Come on. Kill them. They keep coming. Too many of them Over here. Turn. We can't win. Descend while we have a chance. 
Okay. Oh, shit. Where'd he get that? Take a minute to... Okay, good news is, is that now I can take a few minutes. guys had arrows for the most part. I'm trying to get as much as I can before I kill this guy. You will not escape the ship. So it looks like the rest of these guys. You cannot run for right. There we go. Alright, and I'll go ahead and call it here. Burn 
burn it all. Then to your task. As you command. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck, 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 fuck. Oh my god. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh shit. And I'm falling. Except from when I was young. <laughs> she is dying. <gasps> Configure the there is blasphemy. She should be near her mother. I'm so sorry. Turn your face to the sun, child. Not be moving, you dumb piece of shit. No, 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 no. no. I have to get out of here. I need my focus. No. What are you doing, you dumbass? They, they must have found me before I bled out. But why is no one here? Where am I? She was trying to make wondering if she had to put a brace on her time she had to get up and go to the bathroom. No. So that's the room I came from. <sighs> my clothes. Good. But where's my focus? are allowed inside. I, I don't see my bow here. Or that damaged focus, the one I took off that killer. Where are they? some kind of signal.
Must be the damaged focus. The one I took from that killer. That's close. There. With the rest of my things. and proceed at once to the mission point. Avoid all contact with Nora's savages, but if you are seen, kill every witness. Target imaging attached. Do not fail. Target imaging. Who says I'm like other Nora? Bum, bum, bum. Then make it quick. I'm heading in. Hold for I did to scan. You need to start listening to Ted and start listening to me. Where's this from? What? A 99.47% match. No. If she was your ma, it'd only be about 50 minutes. It'd only be 50% anyway. Where's this from? Aloy, you are awake. You brought me here? Quickly, you must follow. To where? To the place where you were born. Okay, so there's inside the mountain. It is easier if I show you. There's supposed to be an entryway. I want to say it's through here. But I was in. There's actually the stuff for a side quest in here. I'm trying to find it again. So let's do it this way. There we go. Oh, wrong way. Some kind of power cell. I wonder what it's for. Okay. That's gonna come in very why did you bring me here? very handy very soon. Right, gotta go catch up with Tirsa. It's complicated. Please, just follow me.
Does my mother look like me, but with short hair? I don't see how that could be. You were not born of a woman, Aloy. The mountain is your mother. I'm... What? What are you talking about? Come. The only thing I had to say to this was... Uh... What is this place? The Great Chamber, where all mother slew the Metal Devil and gave birth to you. Aloy, the Proving Massacre was just the first of many disasters. The war party we sent after the killers was ambushed and slaughtered. But what does that have to do with where I was born? My hope is... everything. This Chris, is fat. where we found you. We heard your cries, came to look, and there you were. Just... just lying there? Yes. You mean I came from behind the door? Always, that is what I have believed. That you came from the womb of the mountain. A gift from all mother herself. But others, like Lanzra, feared that a darker power put you here. Not a gift, but a curse. But... This isn't a goddess. Aloy! It's a door. With people behind it. Your mother? <gasps> oh. Oh. Hold for identity scan. The goddess speaks. Just like the woman I saw. Alpha registry corrupted. Identity cannot be confirmed. Entry denied. No, no. Please. Aloy, all mother spoke to you, as if she knew you. Were you not listening? It didn't recognize me. Because of corruption, the goddess's own words. Surely, if you heal this corruption, <sighs> she will see you clearly. And how would I do that? You said you've had visions. Of a woman with short hair. The killers came for me. Because I look like her. But their power is overwhelming. Is there no other trail to follow? Owen. He was one of the outsiders. The night before the proving. The killer saw me through his eyes. He lives in Meridian. So you will have to leave the sacred land. Ah. I've been an outcast all my life. Why not an exile too? There is another way. Come, and we will make it so. Tirsa is a crazy old bat. After the massacre at the Proving, a great war party was sent after the killers. Less than half survived. Oh, shit. How was the war party defeated? The killers do not fight alone. Somehow they have a power over the machines, corrupting them, driving them mad. So the killers got away? Yes. And now the only plan my sister matriarchs can agree to is to sing the hymn of atonement and beg for all mother's mercy. As though she would not want us to help ourselves. Then, what's your plan? This. This was my plan. 
to show you where you were born and loose you to follow the destiny all mother intended for you. The other high matriarchs are waiting for us. Let me do the talking. It is done? Yes. I showed her. Sisters, the goddess spoke to Aloy. Told her to heal the corruption. Ha! But how is she to do that? She will have to journey beyond our sacred land. A seeker? If the goddess spoke, it must be so. You would name this thing a seeker? Sister! For once, Lanzra, join with us. This will be your sin, not mine. Send her seeking, and may she never be seen again. Uh. Aloy, by the holy grace of the One Goddess, we hereby anoint you a seeker of the Nora tribe. No barrier can now stay you from your sacred task. May all mother protect you and sustain you. Stay true. I will make ready for the hymn. Love how her bracelets just defy gravity there. At least Jez is uh, pretty good people. Tirsa, what's a seeker? You are. And here is your mark. In times of great need, the High Matriarchs may anoint a seeker. A worthy brave sent forth to accomplish a great purpose. No matter where that purpose might take her. Even beyond the borders of the sacred land? Yes. And with the right to return when you are done, or as the need arises. You said the Nora sent a war party after the killers. Yes. But it was ambushed and overrun. Very few escaped alive. And most that did were wounded. Do you know where the killers went? No. But you could ask Varl, one of the braves guarding the gates of the Embrace. He survived the ambush. He would know more. So many have suffered. Is there anything I can do to help? What is most important is for you to fulfill the purpose all mother has intended for you. I don't know what that means any more than you do. Then you must find out. If, however, you sense that part of your purpose is to help the tribe, by all means do so. I have no doubt you will find people in need throughout the Embrace. Have there been other Seekers? There have, but they are rare, and most who set out are never heard from again. Was Rost a Seeker? No, not a Seeker. What are you not telling me? This is not the time, Aloy. Perhaps another day. What was... Done with Rost's body? I'm afraid there was very little left to recover. But what there was, we buried at the place where he raised you, with flowers on the grave. Thank you. So I can go anywhere at all? No restrictions? Even to forbidden places, like the tainted lands beyond all mother's sight, or the ruins of the metal world. I see. Why are the lands beyond Nora territory called tainted? Is it not obvious? Our land is sacred. We live in sight of the one goddess, all mother, source of all that lives. Beyond her sight lies a vast fallen land, spiritually tainted. That is why it is against tribal law to leave. But the seeker blessing will protect you. <sighs> Why are the ruins of the Metal World forbidden? They are blighted places, Aloy. Dark and wicked. Like the children well, like of Metal before, who built them. 
the when they uh, rebelled and tried the to tribe old mother, makes her me think of their like Native Americans slash Inuit their sin. tribes almost. Their ancient spite haunts those ruins, ready like to ensnare anyone foolish enough to enter them. But I've been in a ruin. It looked a lot like the inside of All Mother. That cannot be so. It is. Then this is something beyond my understanding. I will trust you to reveal the truth. I should be on my way. From here, you must go to the gates of the Embrace. Speak to Varl, and he will point the way to Meridian. If any Nora tries to stand in your way, Aloy, make sure they know you are a seeker. Oh, I will. Thank you, Tirsa, for all you've done. May all mother bless you and watch over you. Nora okay. Faithful. We will soon begin. Purify your hearts. Soon we will beg for I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna call it as soon as I find a campfire. When we hear the matriarchs lift their voices, we will so join many. ours to theirs. That was Richard Epcar. The Karja have sealed off the valley to save themselves from corruption. Marie, oh, mother protect my boots will get damp. The Karja have sealed off the valley to save themselves from corruption. It may not mean that much to you, but the High Matriarchs oh, work hard God. to keep Bless us strong. Stay and guide me, that I may live on Damn it, where'd it go? I know I heard him. She saved many lives. The tribe is lucky to have her. Okay, so there's uh, something coming. I don't know if I should uh, go ahead and just finish up the episode once I find a fire, or uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this episode. Pray that all mother heeds and forgives us. All right, where's the campfire? Shit. Double shit. I don't think I'm gonna have a choice here, guys. Okay. So, got another boss fight coming up. Do your duty. I spent some time in the wilds. I think we have that in common. And, uh, I'm not looking forward to it. I'm not particularly fond of it. Only good thing is about this fight is that it goes pretty quick because you're not alone. Not gonna spoil what it is per se, but. Come on, I know I can get. I thought I was able to get under there before. How can you tell the machine? I'm preoccupied. My brother is in. Okay. So I'm going around and grabbing everything really Please quick. Keep. Trying to prep up for this. Definitely want to make sure you have a full quiver of fire arrows if possible. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, looks good. Mm. Oh, and, uh, Word of the wise, definitely, definitely, definitely start saving your shards once you, uh, 
pass through the gates of the embrace. You're going to want a certain type of bow that will become available later on. And you are going to want to make I sure. All mother be praised. You're alive. I heard the rumors, but I didn't know go. for sure until I saw you just now. I'm glad to see you're okay. And you're even wearing the tunic I stitched for you. I'm honored. What are you doing here with a bow and spear, Teb? You're a stitcher, not a brave. Most of our braves are dead or wounded, Aloy. Someone has to defend Mother's Watch, so... I thought I'd help out. I should be okay. Just as long as I don't have any brave trails, right? I need the gate opened. Do you have any idea how dangerous it is out there? I need to pass through. You'll have to talk to Resh then, up on the wall. He's the new war chief. I'm not sure he'll help you. Why wouldn't Resh help me? Well, he says... mean things about you. That I'm a motherless curse, an outcast, that sort of thing? Yeah. I wish he hadn't been made war chief, but Sona disappeared after the ambush. They say she went after the killers all by herself. Who is Sona? Sona was the tribe's war chief, but she went missing after the war party was ambushed. You probably saw her at Mother's Heart, a tall, lean woman with dark skin and long white hair. Her daughter ran in the proving, but she died. Was Vala her daughter? Yes, she was. I liked her. So did I. Who is Sona? Oh shit. So you probably saw her. Was yes. So did I. What's the uh. danger in the embrace? Are the killers still there? No. They're long gone. The war party went after them, but the killers <sighs> slaughtered them. They have some evil power over the machines. They corrupt them, make them fight at their side. And these corrupted machines, they're loose in the embrace? Some have broken through. And from what I hear, it's even worse outside the embrace. Believe me, this is no time to go traveling. What sort of rumors did you hear? That you were wounded, expected to die. And then, High Matriarch Tirsa insisted that you be allowed to heal inside All Mother. Huh. That caused a stir. Only matriarchs are allowed to enter the mountain. But... You deserve the honor. The survivors had told everyone how you fought to save them. I wasn't the only one to fight. No. They spoke of Bast and Vala, too. And Rost, the man who raised me. He... He fought to save me, and... He died for it. The survivors didn't speak of him. But I remember him. He was there that day when you saved me. I remember he stepped in front of you when my father started yelling. If by dying he saved your life, Aloy, I don't think he regretted it. I should be on my way, Teb. Be safe, Aloy. Okay. Uh, why so. are we even wondering? The killers must be caught. Goddess, remember those we have lost. Remember me when I fall. Alright, let's go talk to the... D Actually, no, we're going to set some traps real quick if we have some. Okay. Alright, so I'm setting blast traps.
We are going to need them, I promise you. The border is closed, but it won't stop the corruption. Mark my words. The few who saw them returned to tell of it. Faithless killers, their tribe unknown. Out of trap. set a few more of these like I mentioned we're going into a boss fight does not hurt to be prepared That is definitely Richard Upcar. They all would have died if not for her. I need the gate opened. <laughs> Since when has any outcast's need been my concern? Since I was anointed a seeker. Now open the gate. You? A seeker? Have Tissa and Jezza gone insane? Bad enough that they let you run in the Proving. But to nurse you back to health inside the Sacred Mountain? <sighs> no wonder a curse is upon us and children lie dead under cairns of stone. How can you be so heartless? I fought beside those children, shoulder to shoulder and back to back. I saw them fall. If even one of them had been true, Nora, they would have put an arrow in your back. Resh, come on. Silence! I am your war chief. And I am a seeker anointed by the High Matriarchs. So open the gate, and I will be on my way. <sighs> the sooner you're gone from here, the better. What was that? What the hell is it? Oh, fuck. Sound the alarm! I'd love to put an arrow between his eyes. By the goddess, what's it doing to them? Faster than my first run through. With the killers at the proving. How does it possess other machines? What's the secret? We'll get to that in just a second. How does a machine like that Enough. take control of all those striders? 
Okay, so thankfully the boss fight went I need a little to know bit better than I machine thought took it would. Possession of those striders. So how'd you do it? Show me. <laughs> you made them obey you. How? This power cell. You did it with this. It's connecting to my focus. Then I could use this. It's worth a shot. Couple loops of wire. Looks like it'll hold. I just need to test it. Aloy, how did you do that? You killed that demon. Pulled its guts from the carcass. The way it controls other machines. I think I've figured it out. But I need to test it on a machine. Uh, plenty of striders along the path to the gates of the Embrace, I guess. Exactly. And the gates are where I'll be headed anyway. I need to speak to Varl. I always knew you were different, Aloy, but... But what? I think you're a blessing from All Mother. No matter what Ress says. <sighs> Thank you, Teb. But I have to go now. I know you do. And my thoughts go with you. How could the car jump? Let's close the door. I want that game repaired immediately. Forget them. We have to bandage it together. Get it done. Alright. So we now have five overrides that we can do. I'll have to go back up that way. Let's see, and one... All but one of the traps was uh, detonated, so that was pretty good if you ask me. I need to test this device. See what it can do. Alright, so we'll save right quick. hit the merchant. Damn it. All right. So What they got. Always get the free sample box. Always. Alright guys, so I'm going to call it here for the night. Um, I've actually got some uh, going back on the main file that I need to do. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, I've, I lost like a solid three hours worth of play because I screwed something actually rather important up so it was bug uh, I can't even think straight I need food I'm gonna go eat this is Lady K and uh, thank you again for watching along with me as we go through Horizon Zero Dawn um, not entirely certain when we're going to get back to Skyrim. Like I said, I've been on a huge Horizon Zero Dawn kick lately. So, more than likely, 6 p.m. next Tuesday, we're going to be right back at this. Well, again, I'm Lady K, and I'm going to catch you guys on the flip side. Rock on. Oh shit. <laughs>